Well, hello, wonderful humans, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be helping my friend move out of Jarrett Hall, which is one of the postgraduate only accommodations at the University of Birmingham. And I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you what a University of Birmingham postgrad accommodation looked like. Yeah, so you yeah, trash cans over there, so you empty all your rubbish. There's a ping pong table. Yeah. There's no other like facilities on the area, is those? There is a common room next to the reception room that you can like use it, but we never use it. I was gonna it. say, does yeah. anyone actually use it? No, not really. No. I mean, I saw some people <laughs> did like a party in it. Oh. Like, we need to organize it with the reception. Okay. We, uh, I personally never use it because we used to like gather in other people or in my flat like with other friends so yeah I mean the kitchen is pretty much big so you don't really need to do that but yeah if someone really wants to throw like a big party they can use that room cool yeah this is our kitchen we actually shared the whole place with I mean I shared it with other four people and I mean it's yeah it's a spacious it's nice it's quite new and yeah yeah. Show them the whole yeah. So this is. We have the fridge. So freezer, this is the fridge. Yeah. I mean, it's like that. So you kind of get a shelf each. Yeah. Um, and even the cabinet, I mean, it's quite like huge. So. Yeah. So you'll get a cabinet. You kind of unlock that yourself, don't you? They don't. I mean, I actually used the whole cupboard for myself, so it was it was pretty cute. That's a lot of storage. Yeah, space. I even used this part for myself, and they give you the whole like package when you're coming here. So yeah, so you don't necessarily have to worry about bringing cutlery and no. I mean, and things. if someone they don't really want to spend money on stuff like that, they can even use the you know shared yeah. stuff. So and then just the yeah. sing. This is not <laughs> microwave and yeah and then this is just like a table obviously it's got boxes on now mm -hmm. and the bean bags so each flat from what you told me gets two bean bags yeah they have two and yeah the couch and then yeah you get this like cleaning stuff yeah. that you can all use obviously no one used the iron no we didn't look, because <laughs> no one really had the iron so yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's it this is the kitchen this and then the whole corridor so there are like five rooms in each flat. I mean, in Jared's all this stuff, I don't know about other accommodations. Yeah, and that green door leads to the outside world. Yeah, that's the outside. And yeah, that's the corridor. So you've lived here now for a year, haven't you? Yeah, exactly a year. This and she's the only one left in her flat. Which yeah, is... <laughs> I'm the only one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is this is pretty much the room. I mean, you have some like places mm -hmm. for the books, and then I mean, you have drawers and closet. Single bed, bed. So. <laughs> yeah, and and you had a ground floor, so you looked out onto yeah. the laundry room. I actually, yeah, that's the laundry room. It's so exciting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's nobody here. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is the laundry room, and there are like washing machines and then the dryers, and but you need to pay separately if every week when you're using it. It's like uh, five pounds. Okay. Every time you're using both of them together, so. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty, to be fair, what I know of other setups, this is a pretty standard setup for a UK yeah. university. I mean, yeah, if you're going, you have to do this. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're at the accommodation of the university, it works yeah. like that, so. Yeah. When I came here, there were like old, bunch of old mansions, but they changed it, so it's actually better, yeah. Okay. Right now. And it's, it tells you how to do it also, I'm not going to go through that. Yeah, they, they, I mean, you have to download an app on your phone and then you're going to like use it on that. You're adding some fees and then choose the number of your machine and then it works easily. Cool. So, I mean, it's decent. It's not that big, but it's yeah. quite convenient. I mean, I've seen the bathroom of other accommodations in Wales. This is actually way better. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so Wales... Vale, what's it called? Is the full name Vale? Is it just Vale? Uh, Vale's got different accommodations, like tennis scores. Okay, so Vale is a big complex. Yeah, um, yeah. They have loads of different types of accommodation. Yeah, the other types I've been really remembering. Yeah. If you have like any problem with the stuff like that, you just can call the reception or email them. They're just gonna give, I mean, based on your requires, they're just come to fix it. So it will be fine. Perfect. Yeah. About the internet, when, when you're coming, they just give you the password and you, you need to, I guess, use the student ID number. I don't really remember. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can connect to the internet easily. So. Yeah. To be fair, I've studied at Neelitz before and basically if you are a student at the University of Birmingham, you can log onto the internet. It's really simple to, yeah. to get onto it.
place. As you can see, the car is absolutely crammed. And also when we get to the new place and she settled in a bit, I'm gonna do a quick interview with her on what it was like living in Jared Hall. So stick around for that if you wanna know the experience of someone who lived there for a year and you're thinking of staying there. How have you found living in Jarrett Hall? I mean, somehow it was nice because, you know, it gives you the opportunity to have social interactions with people. Actually, I made many friends in like the first week I came here. And then even later, it was nice because it's so close to the pubs of Celio, so you can go with your friends to different places. And it's pretty convenient because it's so close to the university. It's like five, six minutes by walk to the campus. So that was actually pretty easy. What was your best memory of Jarrett Hall? But my best memory was that we used to gather in the kitchen of mine or other friends sometimes at the, I mean, in the, during the weekend. So it was nice. Everyone was like living in different flats of Jared Hall. So it was easy, convenient. You know, we had our own parties in the weekend. So it was, it was nice. And you feel very like safe because Jartal is located in Selyuk. The accommodation is really secure because of the reception. There are many like staff, you know, coming, going around. So it was, it was really nice. Yeah. And it's also super international, isn't it, Jartal? Yeah. I mean, some of the flats, I mean, they're like filled with British people, but yeah, generally it's a very like international. But I think the whole, like the, all the accommodations are pretty much like, you know, engage with international students rather than British people, so. Mm -hmm. What was the biggest culture shock of moving to the UK? Because you're from Italy originally, just to clarify. <laughs> Personally, I adopt myself pretty fast to different like, cultures. I don't have any problems. And I'm kind of a person that have like different international friends. It wasn't really shocking. I mean, yeah, I found some, yeah. Okay, the shocking thing, if like you really want to know, it's about like the uh, bathroom about the sink that you guys use like to the friend like that those for like hot and cold water it was shocking i was like what is this i've never seen this like you need to use like separate taps for it so yeah that was like quite shocking <laughs> i guess that was yeah that's so throw back to yeah the it was it was really shocking. I was like, oh my god what would you wish was different about jared hall like what do you think you could be improved on mm, maybe sometimes like the the internet i mean sometimes it doesn't really work that well especially after the pandemic that most of people spend time in their bedrooms it wasn't that fast so maybe they can you know improve it somehow well i mean honestly i didn't have this problem personally because as i said before i request a silent room and my room is open to the garden so I don't have any noises but my best friend used to live in other side of the Jared Hall and the flat was onto the street the Dale Road which Jared Hall is located and he was like saying it's so um noisy and like there are many cars coming and going and like neighbors in front of I mean people who are living like in front of Jared Hall they were pretty noisy so he wasn't really satisfied about you know his room in that sense so maybe that's kind of a negative thing maybe you should pay attention when you're requesting the room that in which side which part of the like the whole jarata list mm, is located yeah. so, and like you said earlier though if that's a real concern for you like if you're someone that knows you need silence to work you can always request a quiet room yeah you can even request like if you wanna stay in a in a flat that people they don't drink alcohol they don't do parties so you can even request stuff like that i didn't but hopefully my flatmates they, they were never fine. They didn't have any parties. I was like the noisy one. So <laughs> it was, it was fun. But you can request everything. Like some people, I don't know, due to religion stuff or like different, different uh, reasons, they can request whatever they want. So yeah. Well, thank you, Nila, for letting me interview you. You're <laughs>